Hi, uh, I want to talk about how to overcome imposter syndrome. So imposter syndrome is when you kind of feel frozen in place and you can't move forward with your ideas or your projects because you just don't feel qualified or confident enough to help people who need help in your niche. So I struggled with this for a long, long time. And I'm gonna tell you one of the ways that allowed me to overcome it because listen, even though I've been doing this stuff for 20 years, I started digital marketing in 1998, sometimes I still suffer from imposter, sy imposter syndrome. So I'm gonna tell you what I do when I feel like that. And maybe it's gonna help you to move forward too because it's really simple and anyone can do this. You see, what I've started doing is using a website called Reddit. You probably know what it is, even if you might not be using it. I mean, it's a very, very famous website. I think it's, it's in like maybe the top 20 most popular websites on, on the internet. So what I do is I go through every single day, I go through the subreddits, the topics, the communities devoted to digital marketing, copywriting, affiliate marketing, passive income, all the stuff that I've, I've, I've been learning about for 20 years. I go through all the questions that people are asking. And if I feel like I know the answer and I can help that person, I do. I go ahead and give them as much help and detail as I can. I really take the time to, to deliver value to that person in the best way that I can. And then the, the Reddit community are smart people. They're very savvy. They don't take BS lightly. They won't tolerate it. If, you're, if you don't know what you're talking about, they will call you out on it. So when you start doing this, it is a little bit scary at first because, you know, <laughs> there's a small group of people who will, who will absolutely call you on it. But it's a good test. What happens is when you when you are authentic and you you actually go into this with good intentions and the intention to help people instead of promoting yourself. What happens is if you if your information is good and it's quality stuff, they will do something called upvote. It. So they will kind of give it. It's almost like a like on Facebook, or they can downvote it if it's not good. So it's like this, this voting system. So what I want you to do, if you're struggling with imposter syndrome, because listen, I stopped doing the, the project that I wanted to do, that I desperately really felt in my heart that I should be doing for over 10 years because of imposter syndrome. So I know how, how painful it and, and, and the impact it can have when you don't get it under control. So what I want you to do is whatever niche you are in or you're thinking about entering, just go to, to Reddit, find a subreddit. In fact, find as many as you can relevant to that topic and then start talking about it. Help people answer the questions and then monitor the response, the engagement that your help gets. And if it gets, you know, just a couple of upvotes, People like it, find value in it. That's enough, right? But if it gets heavily downvoted, so there's a lot of people just, you know, saying this is not good information through the voting system, then that tells you that maybe you, you, you want to rethink things. Now listen, if, you wanna, if you're worried about uh, your reputation in your industry or anything, just use a fake name. You know, you don't have to use your real name, be anonymous. You can actually create anonymous accounts, I think. So do that. No one's going to know it's you, but you're going to get valuable data from Reddit. It's going to show you that you are really more knowledgeable than you realise. And that's the thing with imposter syndrome, because we, we think we know less than we do, because we tend to look at these experts and gurus and, you, you know, People running blogs and YouTube channels and 
all that, right? And we, we think, well, I'll never be as good as them. I'll never know the stuff that they know. I'll never be as confident as, as them. When it's, it's just a lie, because we tell ourselves these little stories, these little loops over and over and over again that prevent us from achieving the things that we want to achieve. And, and I have been there too. When I started Profit Copilot, I initially bought the domain name and set up the YouTube channel in 2010. I didn't really do anything with it for another seven or eight years. And that was because even though I have been doing this digital marketing stuff since 1998. In 2010, I still suffered from imposter syndrome. I felt like I didn't have the, the knowledge or I wasn't qualified enough. I didn't have the confidence to share all the knowledge that I'd amassed over the years. Real world, hands-on knowledge, not theory. You know, actually going out and, and building audiences for, for myself and for other people. Then monetizing those audiences. So it was in uh, 2010, I thought, I have to share this stuff with other people because this is the way forward. This is the way to security and independence. And everyone should be doing this stuff. Everyone should be following the passions, sharing the knowledge, building a comfortable life for themselves and for their families. But I was just frozen, frozen in place, scared. And that's imposter syndrome. So it was through going out to forums, talking to people, seeing what problems they have, knowing that I can help them and then delivering that help through forums and Reddit, places like that. That really gave me the confidence that I needed because it was like holding a mirror up, right? It was like, so it was like looking at the response that was given, looking at the reaction of what people, were, you know, the community saying, thank you, so valuable, never thought of it like that. And, and then when you see people implement your ideas, getting results coming back to you. I mean, the first time that uh, one of my students come back to me and he said that he, he, he's now able to pay his mortgage from his website. Because he went, he went from zero to making over a thousand dollars a month, and that was enough to pay his mortgage. So he didn't have to work as hard. The first time that, that happened, the first time I got that kind of email, that increased my confidence. So the the results that you will see people get based on your advice will feed into the confidence too. And over time, you know, it doesn't happen overnight, does it? But over time, the more you do it, the more advice you share, the more people you help, the more results they get. This all compounds over time and eventually, eventually. I'm not going to say it goes away completely because in my experience it doesn't. It's this kind of constant thing that I have to keep under control. But eventually you stop worrying and you start getting that, that confidence thinking, well, hey, even if one person just one person gets value and makes positive changes in their life, even if that's just a little bit, then it's enough. So I hope you found this useful. If, you've, if you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine too. And if you want more videos like this, then subscribe and hit the little notification bell thing. And you'll get notified next time I upload one of these videos, which is turning out to be very, very frequent. Take care, guys.